So today, Gojo Clan, what I want to do is react to a video game that's getting ready to come out in February. So we got a little while before it drops, but it's called Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash. Now, some of you guys might have actually heard about this game already, and if you have, that's cool. But I've watched maybe only like one, possibly two videos on this gameplay. And I did not know before that though, y'all, that Jujutsu Kaisen was getting ready to come out with their own game. Now, I do also understand that some of the issues when it comes to like anime games is that they just kind of flop unless their name is Naruto or probably Dragon Ball Z. And even then with the Dragon Ball Z, it's gotta be the Budokai series. And even with the Naruto, it's gotta be like Naruto Storm. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that. Even though, I did rock with Shinobi Strikers, just as a, you know, FYI. But anyways, aside from that, y'all, what I want to do today is react to this new gameplay that they had. Now, currently the game is not available for us. Like I said, it'll come out February 1st. But in Japan, I believe it's already available, at least for like them to have gameplay tests. So I want to kind of look at some of the gameplay, see what it's about, see how good and or bad it is. Now, I do want to say this as a disclaimer. I did watch some of this video already, so I know what to expect. But I want to break some of it down with you guys if y'all rock with that. And if you do, let's get into it. So we getting into it, y'all. I don't have my headphones in, so hopefully it's not like echoing in there. Um, but yeah, they, so for anybody that didn't know, Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash is supposed to be a 2v2 game. <laughs> And in that instance, at first I was like, ooh, I don't know if I rock with the 2v2 scene and st shit like that. But when I'm thinking about the anime, it actually makes sense because a lot of the times when they get into some fights, it's usually 2v1, 2v2, or whatever the case may be. You know what I mean? It's never like a 3v1 or a 3v2. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a situation like that. But anyways, as you see, she using uh, Gojo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, they, they got to use the nigga that is the, the channel is based on. His clan, now our clan, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, my fault, y'all. Let's, let's get right back into it. So one of the things that you're going to notice, aside from just like the fighting style and like how the map is quote unquote open, more open than, than a lot of typical fighters are anyways, almost like Dragon Ball Z, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but... You lock on the targets, you can see them through walls and shit like that, and and you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you get active, you move around freely. But another thing that I was gonna say, if you notice, is that the way she has to play as Gojo is more of like a, a, a zoner. He's got a lot of range, and you can see they got chain link attacks up in here, so I mean, that's nice. Yeah, you got your chain link attacks. But yeah, he's like a spacer character, you know what I'm saying? Like. Gojo is going to be more of that zoner dude. I can tell his abilities take a little bit longer to build up, but I would only assume they hit a little harder than somebody like Itadori, who's going to probably be more like a brawler. Oh, you even see he getting ready to use his purple, and he she missed on that one. She does use it again, and when you see the damage it pushes out, it's like it makes sense why it moves a little slower. It's a little easier to dodge, but once you make contact, I think this is where she makes contact, actually. Yeah, as you can see, it's like big, big damage, you know what I'm saying? So it makes sense why it's a little bit of a slower ability. Now, one of the things I also do want to address, too, is like I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, well... Oh, look, his infinity. Now he can't be touched. I think that's dope, the fact that you can actually use that in the game. That's so clean to me. But um, it's not as broken as, like, Gojo can't be touched the entire time he's getting ready to fight. Like, it looks like that's an ability. You have to hit that, and then Gojo sits there at, like, a standstill. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can't move. But... What I was going to talk about was actually the domain expansion and a lot of people was talking about it from the people that I have watched and they were saying like they thought it was going to be busted and you know it was going to be unfair because then you just had to wait to use like Gojo or Sukuna and, and use they busted ass domains. I think they getting ready to use it somewhat soon. Oh right here perfect perfect timing by me. So look you see Gojo getting ready to use that domain. 
right? Takes the blindfold off. Now you still have to catch people in the domain. And then you get your little cut scene where they all trapped in it. And once the domain activates, it goes right back into it. And as you can see, everybody is stunned, right? Even your own teammate. But the thing is, is once they're stunned, apparently the time limit for people to be stunned with Gojo's ult is only about five to six seconds. So if you get caught in it, you're stunned for five to six seconds and you're free, you know, to get knocked out and whatnot. But if you use it as Gojo and you catch, let's say, one person in your teammate and you don't catch the other person, now your teammate is also free to get hit. Or if you use it too close to your teammate and you don't catch any of the enemies, now your teammate is also once again locked in a five to six second stun. And now you got to do your best to protect them. So it's like a double edged sword when you're using it. And it's not like, ooh, they're locked down forever. They can't move automatic game over you know what i'm saying it's not like that and apparently other people who have domain expansion it's also condition based like that like i'm sure sukuna's domain is probably gonna do x amount of damage for a short period of time like you might get hit let's just say you got 600 health right i don't know if that's the actual number i'm just giving y'all a random one but if you got 600 health and sukuna hits you with the domain it might hit you for like 350 you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's something like that. But from what everybody is saying, it's not as busted as you would think. But it is like a special. And if you connect the special, just like any other fighter, almost like Mortal Kombat or something like that, it's going to do high damage or give you a slight bit of an advantage in the fight. But essentially, that's like a gist of how the game is played. I'm not sure how many characters they're actually going to have come out. But I would only assume... They want to wait for the game to come out in February because now we got about five episodes. As of this recording, we got about five episodes left with the the anime. And that's going to give us five weeks. So that'll go a little through December. We might get it to end around like Christmas or something like that. And then January will roll around. Jujutsu Kaisen, like the anime itself, will be done until season three. And we might get like one more movie, but in that moment, like in that brief window of opportunity, we could see a lot more characters from either season two or possibly even the movie to come out in a later release date. Because again, right after January, the game will be getting ready to come out. But I'm thinking they're giving themselves a little bit more of a window of opportunity to have more characters because I don't want to spoil anything for anybody that hasn't seen it yet. But in season two, we did get like two maybe three new characters that we could actually talk about and actually put into the game and even aside from that we see new abilities that could be put into the game later on so it, it, it makes a little bit of sense so now they're using uh itarori and i always forget her name bro and i i i don't like that i forget her name because she's actually cold in the anime you know what i'm saying like she she's really good damn boy she getting molly but <laughs> this nigga is going to work but as you can see, like, okay, right here, we got we got Yuji using, uh, like, mainly his hands and feet, just like in the anime, because Yuji is more of a brawler. Now, the, the issue with that is it's like, how much is he really hitting for since he's just, like, brawling, not really using the cursed energy and, and stuff like that? Because Gojo is knocking his ass. And you get to see a little bit more, too, from this POV, like, just how crazy Gojo really can be with all the the abilities to knock you back and then keep using all of his curse energy to to keep that distance like look going to work and since yuji don't have no damn ranged abilities what are you supposed to do this is like a a mismatch really mega me should have been fighting him but even what's her name is is a ranged character now that i think about it with her straw doll technique but y'all see what I'm saying too, though, with like Gojo, it takes a little while for that, that ability to build up. So it's a window of opportunity as long as he don't knock your ass all the way to damn Alcatraz to, to you know, shoot you. Yep, see, there we go. You could, I'm telling you, if you can get in there and you can rush while he's getting ready to use one of his ranged abilities, that's where you got to take advantage of, of Gojo. And, and that's just me kind of early watching it. They could increase the speed of his activation of the, uh, the the curses and everything like that. Who knows? We still got like two months before the game come out. Oh, I didn't know you could use Black Flash while you were... Wait a second. What's that? I didn't know you could do that, though. I did not know that you could use it as just like a, a regular skill. 
now Yuji getting his ass whooped. But I do see they got a timer up there. Um, one thing that I'm not fully understanding is how the life thing works. Like it's not rounds. Oh, I see it. It's by the bar. It's it's you have a bar, and I would assume it's a shared bar. So if you die twice and then your teammate dies once, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Since you only got three. I get it now. Okay. Mind you guys, I was watching a little bit of this while I was at work, so I couldn't watch it for real, for real. And it's not in English, so I I didn't understand what the hell was going on. But essentially, that's it. They do go on to, to switch characters one more time. And I mean, it's about an 18-minute long video, but I didn't want to go through everything. I just kind of wanted to look at a little bit of it. And they just recently dropped a, a new character showcase where they were showing off some of the new characters that are coming into the game. And they actually have curses in there, like the this special class and everything like that. They are putting those curses in there for you to be able to play with. So it's not just the people who go to Jujutsu High or, or anybody who's a Jujutsu Sorcerer. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's dope. I might not dabble into another fighting game until this one comes out, to be honest, y'all. And the biggest reason we gonna really rock with this one is because obviously it's a Jujutsu Kaisen game. And my channel is really based around that. I don't know how many times I gotta say it, but yeah, it just makes sense for me to get that and try and make videos on that and, and have fun with it, you know what I'm saying? So that's all I got for you guys today, man. I hope that you did enjoy. Sorry that I don't have any actual like gameplay of me doing anything today. I, I took a, a cool little break during the, the holidays, man. So appreciate y'all for understanding that. But yeah, with all that, Gojo Clan, I love y'all as always, man. Be safe out there. I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. And if you didn't hear from me already, happy Thanksgiving. So you know what I'm saying? All that good jazz. And uh, yeah, peace of hair grease.